goodness, you guys. Look at this wig. If I didn't know any better, I would think this was growing right out of my head. This is amazing. Hi you guys, welcome to Shookwell's YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and I'm here today to give you a review on this amazing long wavy wig by John Renault called Rachel Light. This is a really popular piece and I can absolutely see why. It is insanely stunning. This cap is everything. <laughs> if you haven't heard about the light caps by John Renault yet, then stay tuned because I'm gonna tell you all about them. So several years ago, John Renault decided to upgrade some of their more popular pieces that they sell and create some more luxurious caps for them. They call these caps their light caps. This piece that I'm wearing right here is a light cap. So this is Rachel Light and she is available in just the regular Rachel version, but this is the light version. So let me talk about this light cap for you. I'm gonna show it to you first as the cap and then I'll put her back on and we'll navigate her that way too. So your John Renault light caps are gonna have a lot of amazing features. One of them being a full monofilament top, which gives you the ability to part it wherever you'd like on the top here. It's basically a lace-like material where each fiber has been hand knotted onto this material. You're also going to find a lace front. Now, something that's unique to the light caps as opposed to the John Renault just regular caps that they have is that it is a complete ear to ear lace front. So it extends around the ear tab all the way around the other ear tab, which gives you the ability to tuck her behind your ear while maintaining that look of growth from your head, which is amazing. You're also gonna get these polyurethane ear tabs. Now these are great for security. So it helps kind of stick to your head a little bit more. And a really wonderful feature about this is that you can add adhesive onto this polyurethane here to help it stick even more. So great if you wanna make sure your wig is just gonna stay put. These light caps are also going to be hand tied. So they're 100% hand tied on a stretch cap, which is really luxurious and comfortable. Hand tied means that someone is hand knotting all of these fibers onto this cap. So with hand tied caps, they're gonna be a little bit more expensive, of course, because of the time commitment to create these things and the precision that they have, um, but they are going to be extremely comfortable and also natural. So hand tied caps are great because they give the hair or the fiber the ability to move more freely in sort of an all around motion as opposed to just a side to side motion like a wefted cap would have. They also allow you to style it with more ease. So if you were to do like a half up, half down, you're not gonna have to worry about any wefting showing through or your scalp showing through the wefting. And I'll demonstrate that when I put this cap on for you. Okay, so we also have an extended nape with a silicone strip. So again, added security, which is amazing. You can even add adhesive to help it from slipping up a bit. And we have the Velcro adjustable straps so that you can loosen or tighten it to your circumference. So this cap right here is the cream of the crop. This has all of the bells and whistles, quite literally all of the bells and whistles. It has anything you could ever hope for, for a natural looking cap. Now, of course, the price point is going to be higher because of all of these features on it. So if you are not looking to spend more money, then this might not be for you. However, if you have the funds to invest in a piece like this, then she's definitely a great option. Now, something else to note about John Renault's light caps are that they are going to be less dense than their regular counterpart. So when I talk about density, I am talking about how much hair is on the wig. There is going to be less hair on the light caps than there are on the regular cap. All right, let me put this back on for you so we can take a look at all of those wonderful features I just talked about. All right, so let's take a look at this monofilament top. Because this is a darker color, I have this in the color Toffee Truffle, which I'll talk about in a minute here. But because it is a darker color, you're generally going to be able to see the knotting within the monofilament and the lace front a little bit more than if you were to have a lighter piece. So keep that in mind because these knots are not bleached at the root here. So you are going to be able to see the knotting a little bit. However, they still do a pretty good job at keeping it 
pretty natural looking. And so like I said earlier, the monofilament top, the full monofilament top is gonna allow you to part it wherever you'd like. So I currently have a right part. You can get a center part if you want. Here's what she'll look like as a center. And you can go left part. You can do like a deep left part if you need to as well. So it's pretty versatile. The world is your oyster when you have a monofilament top. You're gonna find that there are some shorter layers in the front here. So I really like this, especially when it comes to styling off your face and doing updos. I always love having more of a face framing piece in the front just to help disguise the front even more. And I just find that it makes it look even more natural when you do updos, which I can show you a bit later. If you want more of a bang, however, you can absolutely take scissors to this and cut it however you wish. It's especially easy to customize your pieces if there's a monofilament top and a lace front because it allows the hair to move in a more free way. All right, I'm gonna move this back to a center part because I feel like that works best for me on this piece. So if you like a center part, you could even cut more of a curtain bang into this, which would look really nice. Okay, let's take a look at the lace front. Now, the lace front on your light cap is going to be extra deep. So when I say deep, I mean it's gonna run further down your forehead. So if I lift my eyebrows, you're gonna notice that there's kind of a distinct line here where that lace front starts. Now, a lot of you might be like, bah, that's not good. I don't want my lace front to show. I completely agree with you. This is kind of the only funky thing about this wig. That being said, however, you can definitely take some scissors and cut it closer to the hairline. And that is honestly gonna fix all of your problems. Because with these light caps, for me, it feels like I have a bit of a forehead muffin top going on, which, which isn't a look I want. Okay, now let's get to these ear tabs with the lace going right around them. My one issue still with the lace front is that it lifts around the ear tabs. So even if you bend the metal stay in them inwards a little bit, it's still going to be lifting. You can see that here. So... This might be a place where you add some adhesive, a little bit of got to be glued um, or some wig tape right in here to help keep that down at your temples. That might help you a little bit um, because if you were to tuck it behind your ear without that, I always find that the lace lifts right at the ear. So I would definitely add a little bit of adhesive right at this point here to help keep it down. Whereas the rest of the lace is able to stay flush against my skin. So it's the same on this side as well. I mean, the idea is that you are able to tuck it behind your ear, which, you know, when you look at me like this, it looks good, but then you look at me straight on and you see that lift happening. So adhesive will save the day. So earlier I was talking about how with a hand tied cap, it makes it easier to style because you don't need to cover up any wefting at all. So when I say that, I mean that if I were to pull this into something like a half up, half down, it's going to still look like it's growing from my scalp where the hand tied portion is. I'm not sure what you can see right now. I hope you can see what I'm showing you. But in that section there, I'm not going to need to necessarily try my best to cover it up because it will look like it's growing from my scalp. But let me just put this in a quick little half up, half down for you so you can see the ease of styling for this. And like I said, I always like pulling some pieces forward and Rachel has a little bit of shorter pieces in the front which help make it a little bit more natural. So I'll show you what she'll look like behind. And she would also do really well in a bit of an updo too. So again, I always keep some pieces in the front and here's what she would be like with a ponytail. Oh, she's really cute in a ponytail. And I'll clip her up as well into this claw to show you really quickly. This claw isn't ideal, it's a bit small, but as you can see what she's like in more of a clipped up look. Ideally, I would take a little bit more time to do this. So Rachel, in my opinion, is your perfect beachy wave look. The waves are not too overdone. They just make it look like you went swimming a couple hours ago and it just sort of 
dried in this beautiful, perfect, loose, beachy wave. There isn't going to be too much layering throughout this piece. The layering that you'll see is in the front only, pretty much. The rest of it is generally the same length. So the front is going to be about seven inches long. From the sides, you're going to find they're 14 inches. The crown is going to be 15 inches long. And then from the nape, so right at the back here, that's going to be 10 inches long. Let me spin around so you can see all angles of this beautiful piece. It's made with synthetic fibers. So I find that often synthetic fibers tend to be a little bit shiny, um, especially in comparison to their counterpart heat defying synthetic fibers. This is just your standard synthetic. This one, however, I really don't find to be shiny. So because this is just synthetic and not heat defiant synthetic, know that you can't use heat on this piece. If you do, if you use like a curling iron or a flat iron or something like that, you're going to melt the fibers. So I'm wearing this in the color FS6 slash 30 slash 27. And this is called Toffee Truffle. So the six is going to be a medium brown base. And the color code FS, that kind of stands for John Renault's syrup. And when they say syrup, that means that it's a piece that has um, some more kind of prominent streaks throughout it in different colors. So the 30 and the 27, you're gonna see more of a red gold blend going on here. So it will lean warm. It's definitely not a cool color, but there are some really prominent streaks throughout it. So if you like that streaky, chunky look, FS6 slash 30 slash 27 is a really great option. I will also note that on this one in particular, they have pulled the lighter pieces forward to the front. So that also helps with the knotting at the front of the lace here. The lighter pieces, as I mentioned earlier, really help disguise the knots in your lace front. So that's gonna help with the realism in this piece which I love that John Renault is doing here. Now, people always ask me about permatees in wigs. This one has absolutely no permatees, and that's because it is completely hand tied. So whenever you have any hand tied component to a wig, wherever there is the hand tied component, component there's gonna be no permatees. So the hand tied top or the monofilament top, it's completely hand tied, so no permatees there. And the rest of the cap is a hand tied cap, so no permatees there. You're gonna start to see permatees when there comes to be open wefting or closed wefting, or if there's a permatease top or a wefted top, but not in a fully hand tied piece. I recommend this wig 1000%. If you get this wig, the only thing you'll need to do in my opinion is cut that lace front back a little bit and she is going to be absolutely perfect. I just did a video on my favorite top five longer synthetic wigs and Rachel Light made the cut. So if you want to see some other really lovely synthetic wigs that are longer, make sure you go back and check out that video because there are some really nice pieces in there. I think I said all there is to say about the beautiful Rachel Light. So with that, I will let you know that she's available on our website at chiquelle.ca, chiquelle.com or chiquelle.com.au along with many other beautiful pieces by John Renault and all the other brands that we carry. Thank you so much for watching you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!